need a voice on the council. We need a voice on the council. So, um, just, you know, it, it leaves us kind of in a predicament. And that's how we start tonight. The Odessa City Council now without one of its members, and it could stay that way for months. Local 2's Tyler Western leads us off live in the studio after speaking with residents who were upset about this tonight. Tyler, what do they have to say? District 1, Odessa City Councilman Roger McNeil now forced to vacate his seat following several no-shows at city council meetings. This due to health problems, but city officials say they had no other choice. This empty seat on Odessa City Council now left vacant by District 1 Councilman Roger McNeil. Very sad to see him uh, not return to the council because he has, he's done an excellent job of representing his district. Here's a look at his district in South Odessa without a representative voice for what could be many months. Theoretically, it could be vacant all the way up till someone is elected to the position in November. Odessa City Manager Richard Morton says McNeil suffers from health issues, which caused him to miss more than 50% of the meetings in the past six months, violating a city ordinance and by the that law, his seat now becomes vacant. He was a great voice for the city. He was a great voice for his district. He looked out to the future. Odessa District 1 resident David Burdett says they need that voice represented. With him being absent, you know, they, they'll kind of leave us out. And that, that gives me concern because we have a lot of elderly in this area and a lot of people that are just, you know, just trying to survive. Burdett tells me on the south side of town, they feel like they aren't treated as fairly as they should be. Has the city forgotten us? That's the question. Have they forgotten us? That's why we need strong representation on the council. McNeil was elected back in 2012, and Morton tells me they'll begin looking for a replacement immediately. But there's no timeline yet for filling that seat. Live in the studio, Tyler Wessner, Local 2 News. Tyler, thanks for that. In Midland County, a